will move to the morning satsang in Bhagavad Gita, 6th chapter, Dhyana Yoga, 22nd verse. Yam labdhva cha param labham Manyate nadhikam tataha Yasmin sthito na dukhe na Guru na pi vichalyate Yam labdhva cha param labham Manyate nātikam tataha yasmin sthito na dukkhe na guru nāpi vichālyate Translation, having obtained which one does not esteem any other acquisition as something more and being established in which one is not shaken by even the most grievous suffering. Bhagavan is describing one of the greatest state of Advaita experience. Please understand there are various states, various stages of Samadhi. Savija, Nirvija, Savigalpa, Nirvigalpa, Bhava Samadhi. There are various stages of Samadhi. Bhagavan is describing the ultimate Sahaja Samadhi. If you can move your body and mind and relate with the ordinary world as they understand life but completely being established in your Nirvigalpa Samadhi, it is called Sahaja Samadhi. Please understand. Being established in the Nirvigalpa Samadhi in your inner space, completely unclutched in the inner space, with that, if you are able to move your body and mind, a so-called society's normalcy, that is Sahaja Samadhi. The most powerful, the ultimate spiritual state, even gods need to do tapas to achieve this state. Even gods who achieved their states by the various practices need to do unique special tapas to achieve this state. Yam labtva chaparam labam manyate nadikam tataha yasmin sthito na dukkhe na guru na api vichalyate Having obtained which state one does not esteem any other acquisition as something more and being established in which state one is not shaken by even the most grievous suffering is Sahaja Samadhi. We call it Sahaja Stidhi. The state where the space where thoughts are not required for the smooth functioning of your body and even mind. Mind can function without thoughts. Please understand, even though usually the mind is bunch of thoughts, it can function without thoughts. You may ask, how can mind which is bunch of thoughts can function without thoughts? Just by the presence of the superconsciousness, without any agitation, 
are the after effects and side effects which will be usually created by thoughts mind can function mind can flow unless the mind functions you won't even be able to stand sit walk it functions without any thoughts no thought no movement that is why i always tell people i am not existing as you think of me same way after i leave the body i am not going to be absent as you think of the absence understand an enlightened master a person who is established in sahaja samadhi he will not be present as you understand presence he will not be absent as you understand absence krishna says very beautifully whoever understands the way i function will be liberated understand he says if you understand how i am functioning you will be liberated how funny it is you may think ah how will i be liberated if i know how krishna is functioning you will understand your mind is also functioning in the same way and just your ignorance creates complication you will just unclutch that very moment wow this is what then why was i connecting all the thoughts unnecessarily and creating constant suffering for me i wasted my time creating constant suffering for myself when you create constant suffering for you even the good thing you want to do to others will become suffering for them and you will cry oh even if i do good things people take it bad they are not taking it bad you are doing it as bad <laughs> even though you plan good but when you stop torturing yourself when you stop giving suffering to you even if you do something what you you think or you may feel as bad will end up as good when enlightened master uses his trishul even then he only heals an ordinary man even if he gives gift he only destroys others in calcutta when i was staying i saw i was staying in the banks of ganges two neighbors every day morning there will be fight they will scream in that village bengali scream means really scream but i saw one fellow every day evening he will give sweets to that daughter of the neighbor she is a small child morning both fathers fight evening this fellow gives sweet to the daughter every day full pot rasagulla he will give i asked him how come you love her so much but with this father you have fight and it is not some real fight very frivolous things this fellow says no no i hate that fellow and the daughter both i give lot of sweet because daughter won't be able to eat everything and that fellow is diabetic he will eat he is such a miser he will not throw the sweet out <laughs> he will eat and get more sick <laughs> understand and it really happened that fellow is such a miser he can't throw the sweet out he will the daughter can eat only one it's almost 30 40 rasagulla and this fellow religiously will eat and fall sick in once in a week but that does not stop him eating so even by giving sweet you can kill people even though i give kadka pudi i help you guys i tell you guys if you take harita ki powder every night 
your non mechanical parts of the brain gets awakened which directly leads to com- continuous unclutching even while you are functioning normally even while your life is moving normally even when you are doing all your activities normally if you continuously establish yourself in the space of unclutching even while your body and mind is functioning that is what i call sahaja samadhi bhagavan is talking only about that sahaja samadhi here when i awaken your kundalini you experience sahaja samadhi only your brain how it is in waking state how it is in dream state how it is in deep sleep state when i awaken the kundalini you can see it is in a highest awareness like a peak of waking state and highest rest like a depth of sleep state both together that is what i call sahaja samadhi sahaja samadhi restful awareness even if everything is happening in a deep staying in the state of deep rest i tell you when i am giving the akashic reading kalabhairava darshan people say you are so active and alive swami ji i tell you that is the time i feel the extraordinary peace inside no moments of thought continue to unclutch unclutch and unclutch to establish yourself in sahaja samadhi today with this i'll move to the next segment of the morning satsang so there are two types of compassion compassion immediate compassion oh you are sick go and sleep if you are angry go on eat lie down without thinking about the purpose of life the real compa- real compassion is supporting a person to fulfill the life's purpose even if it is little difficult in the initial times come on let's start the questions i'll answer your questions we first have a gratitude email from kavina ananda from seattle for inner awakening and she's saying nityanandam to attend the inner awakening program i used to postpone because of my 3 year old son i didn't know who would take care of him while i attend 21 days program with swami i sent my intention form and paid the money swami responded saying that he will take care of this very surprisingly my husband who doesn't believe in swami and any masters flew from us to take care of our son while i attend the program he sad- suddenly became very supportive and he even once came to the ashram and other concern was my son used to get sick every time we came to india for vacation during my ia trip he remained healthy all through 21 days and beyond these are true miracles from swami life after ia now i truly understand as i experience that inner awakening happens every day every second it is not just 21 days i can see that swami ji is part is part of me and i have a direct connection to him whatever i think he touches those topics in satsang if i have any questions he answers them immediately in the next day satsang while i talk about swami to my friends i can see swami talking through me and winning the arguments i can feel his presence all the time in me i can feel swami's strong presence at home i have the home security system and i had a thought at 9:30 am while driving to office that what if the motion sensors detect swami walking and i get a call from security monitoring team i can't believe it how fast it happened at 10:45 am i got a call on my cell phone while i was in office that the alarm went off and if they have to call the police i had a strong belief that it is a false triggered because of the thought and told them it is not required i will check myself my colleague said are you mad why do you want to take the risk i just smiled and did not say much 
I checked online and found out that the bedroom motion sensor triggered the alarm and that is where my puja room is. It's an amazing experience to me. <laughs> I have experienced success in my job too. I work at Microsoft in a senior manager role. During the recent performance review, I got the topmost rating, one plus, in 300 people organization and for that rating, rewards pour in through cash and stocks. I was thinking, what did I do differently after Inner Awakening? I was honest and never differentiated between my job and others. I was genuinely helping people to be successful. Love for people. I was not afraid to take risk. <laughs> Presentations became much smoother after Inner Awakening as I didn't have fear. I started getting creative ideas to implement at work. Lot more miracles happened to me during Inner Awakening I asked Swamiji in energy darshan that how much ever I meditate, I am not able to go beyond this body. One night while sleeping during early morning hours, I had a dream where I am leaving the body. Then immediately I was very much aware and merged into the source of light. This was a great feeling to carry for several days. Then once more I had the same dream of me merging into the light. I was touched by the experience and could clearly remember how I left the body and merged into the source of light. When I woke up, I was surprised to see awareness I had in my sleep state. This is definitely the result of inner awakening and Swamiji. Several times I have felt the vibrations of Anandaganda Chakra and now I can always feel the vibrations in my body with lot of energy flowing and Kundalini awakening when I just sit. Never-ending miracles and bliss has taken over everything else in my life. I can see myself floating in the ocean of honey bliss. This is what is the effect of inner awakening. My deepest gratitude to Swami for, showing, for showering both outer world and inner world success on me. Whatever I say in words here is very less. Everyone should experience it. In Nityananda, Ma Kavina Ananda. Actually, my presence cannot be felt by de alarm, the detective alarms, because she wanted that my presence should be felt. See, the moment she thought, she really wanted, will it really happen? She had a deep desire inside. So just to prove to her, I made my presence to be detected by the alarm. The next question is from Aradhana Patel, New Jersey, USA, who is asking Swamiji, after hearing you talk about the Gurukul system in morning satsang, I wish my son had been young enough, I would have sent him there. But he is 17 now and I am really scared of what might happen to him, a teenager growing up in the USA. Any guidance for Indian youngsters in the West, Swamiji? Actually, I am designing a program especially aiming at Indian youngsters in the West, for them to be like a three-month semester course to give all the universal spiritual values embedded in the Vedic tradition to learn, experience and live just through internet. The program is getting designed. Soon the teaser will be released. Then the release of the program will happen. The next question is from Bhavna from Chennai who is asking, Dear Swamiji, Nityanandam, I am from Tamil Nadu. I became your devotee just by watching your morning satsangs for the past 10 months. I have not attended any of your programs except one Kalpataru. Till now, my parents don't know that I am watching the satsang daily. If they come to know, they will treat me as if I am pregnant before marriage. So I can't wear mala or participate in the Nirahara Samyama. What do you want to tell to people like me? Bhavana, it is very unfortunate. Usually elders go to the spiritual gurus and youngsters don't go. And elders have to force the youngsters. But in my case, it is always opposite. Youngsters come and settle down with me, pull their Parents, I am a special edition of consciousness for youth. 
it has become very difficult for old brain to think a creative alive awakening of spirituality is possible i tell you even if the elderly people who come to my programs and accepted me they become young in heart so understand these great spiritual teachings you see even if you are not established in unclutching whole day even if you remember 100 times let me try to unclutch the swami says something your mind will say ah he will tell a thousand things don't waste your time but then no 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 i'll try even if you try unclutching every day your eyes start shining your system grows younger i am not saying only if you become successful you will achieve all these qualities no even if you try this nirahara samayam also thousands of people try hundreds are only successful but even the people who tried and failed got many benefits like a health they became better many benefits if you are successful then the benefits are immeasurable even if you are a failure you lose weight your health becomes great so many wonderful things you receive so understand krishna says in gita even if you practice this great truths little bit he is not saying you have to do completely whatever i am saying even if you practice little bit great good things will happen to you try nirahara samyama it's a first level is 2 days second level is 7 days third level is 11 days even if you fail in the second level you will have tremendous confidence wow i did not eat for one week how did i manage leaving my bonda and pakoda so even if you try little so many wonderful things will happen i bless you all who are sitting with us around the world at this moment in 1093 places through nityananda tv and youtube live 48 places to be video conferencing having nayana diksha in 259 cities in 28 country i bless you all let you all achieve experience live express radiate share and explode in eternal bliss nityananda thank you jeevan mukti pradam deva paramahams nityananda a rare living incarnation is named among the world's 100 most spiritually influential personalities today paramahamsa nityananda has been placed alongside dalai lama nelson mandela oprah winfrey paulo colho and others by mind body spirit the world's top esoteric magazine from watkins london's oldest and largest bookstore a yogi by birth he has been expressing his power of enlightenment since birth he has authored more than 500 books in tamil and english translations of these books are available in 26 languages in telugu kannada malayalam hindi sanskrit gujarati oriya bengali marathi french malay polish portuguese italian german danish spanish russian and chinese He is also an exemplary speaker with over 10000 hours of profound life solutions through his discourses social services such as annadan free medical care free educational services with ashrams schools temples hospitals established in more than 140 places around the world offering exceptional services a powerful spiritual healer who has healed millions of people of diseases 
from migraine to cancer. A Kriya Yogi who has formulated Kriyas for physical health and mental well-being benefiting thousands. A living master who offers practical solutions for our everyday problems. He is the founder and spiritual head of Nityananda Dhyanapitam. A spiritual powerhouse who has revived the sacred Vedic tradition by establishing Vedic temples in places like Los Angeles, San Jose, Seattle, Toronto, Ohio, Oklahoma, Phoenix, St. Louis, Malaysia, Brazil, Paris, Guadeloupe, Dallas, New York, New Jersey, Atlanta, Calgary, Vancouver, Singapore and places in India like Bengaluru, Hyderabad, Tiruvannamalai. A spiritual guru for 10 million followers, an incarnation who transmits the highest spiritual energy through initiation, a contemporary yogi who has revived the Vedic science of yoga worldwide through thousands of yoga centers, an adept in Ashtamahasiddhi's mystical yogic powers who has effortlessly awakened the kundalini of thousands and graced them with spiritual powers, a dynamic young guru who is an inspiration for thousands of youngsters. India's most watched spiritual guru online, a beacon of spiritual light who has triumphed over the forces of religious terrorism and political persecution. Paramahamsa Nityananda is an eternal Kalpataru, blessing the world with the boons of material abundance and spiritual enlightenment. He is the 293rd pontiff of the world's most ancient Hindu organization, Madurai Adinam. Shantamayam Bandham